nice. Moments I've had That's in a any shark. Dragon Age game. Even after hours of gameplay, I still felt like I could have played for many hours more. I'm optimistic about the Veil card and excited for it in a way I haven't quite felt about another game in quite some time. If you'd I, like, I don't understand how people can look at that combat and be like, "This is what I'm excited for." I, I, I... yeah. I mean, it's it's just PR, right? They just. I don't know if this Hawkeye is from. Star Rail has bad puzzles. I think he was saying it's even worse than that. But like I said, even if that was true, <laughs> like it's it's you saw ten seconds of the gameplay. Like you can't know. <laughs> you can't know if the puzzles are gonna be good or not. <laughs> also, in my opinion, ninety percent of puzzles in games are like so bad, so bad. Directions unclear. Penis and ceiling fan. I can't. I can't understand it. Uh, I look at game looks fun. It just doesn't look like a Dragon Age game. Yeah, I think I've accepted that now. So I've like moved on. My heart is moved on because that's how I feel about the uh, Resident Evil, arguably five, uh, uh, and six. Sorry, arguably four, five, and six. Those are not Resident Evil games. <laughs> Those are. <laughs> uh action games okay <laughs> those are those are not horror games those are not scary games that's not a zombie game okay that's a shooter okay <laughs> but especially six resident evil six it's so over the top and ridiculous and stupid i love it i love it i love that game i love re5 and six they're some of my favorite games they're not resident evil games though for sure and i'm accepting that that's what this is this is not going to be like a dragon age game but i think it might be fun it might be it and i really think the combat is extremely lackluster and mediocre um i i also think that the narrative will be well let me finish the video it's almost over. to see even more of the game check out our exclusive ign first coverage yeah, which that. features even more gameplay and deep dives on Rook's companions and for everything else in the world of video games, stick with IGN. RE5 and 6 are closer to those terrible movies in tone, 100% agree. I think that there's going to be a number of things in this game. Like, I actually think the narrative and the story in this game is going to be like your... It is going to be a masterclass in how to write a soft, modern story. And I think it's going to be garbage. I really do. The the sad thing is like um, a lot of gamers, they just want every single game journalist to just be like ass mad about everything that exists all the time. And they want game journalists to just get on and be like, this game's going to suck. This game is going to be dog shit. Uh, this game's going to suck and it's going to be dog shit. But what they fail to realize is like some people don't just hate everything. <laughs> and some of those people are game journalists and are down to enjoy uh uh video games i know a <laughs> gamer enjoying games let's not get too crazy okay let's not get too crazy and the reason why i think it's going to be garbage is because i don't think that the writers of this game and the people that are making this game view it as a fantasy game i think they view it as a basically a way for them to uh like th this is like a a heightened reality of what currently exists and i have like kind of two points of of like reference here is that um let me see if i can find it uh the individual person's skin color is referred to as uh melanin now like they do have pronouns in the game <laughs> Me, when I use the scientific term for what causes some people's skin to be darker than other people's. This slider, it's called melanin slider. Woke, woke, woke. <laughs> Pro slash nouns. Oh my God. Fucking pronouns. Dude, I want to go back and I want to watch that bald headed man. Bald headed derogatory as opposed to bald headed northern lion. Hold up. Dude, he gets so red in the video. <laughs> so many good parts about that. One second. <laughs> oh. 
Fucking pronouns! <laughs> Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current day Californian <laughs> shit! Cause that's all we fucking know! Cause we're boring! We're so <laughs> what the fucking hell? We're boring! Oh, cause Starfield, okay. <laughs> Is there a remix? I love more. Taking my headphones off, fuck that. <laughs> Bethesda, there is nothing I love oh, more than months. to fire up a brand new RPG. I'm still laughing at him listing five different types of hairstyles and using both bald and balding. <laughs> Lose myself. Sorry, do you want to get immersed in our world? <laughs> yeah, well, well guess what? Fucking pronouns! I love nothing more than to be also, dragged five down five in every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking Oh god, dude. That's amazing. Anyways, um That's amazing. Rohak, thank you so much for the twenty five months. Which is like uh I, I, I don't really think that's like that big of a deal, right? It, I think it's it's annoying, right? But like sure. But like you have <laughs> like melanin on the character. And I think that oftentimes what ends up happening is that people what they do. There's so three important. options. Thank yeah, you, he, months. him, and they. That's clearly what the options are going to be, right? Like, I mean, I, I, you could easily say that. Like that, that's clearly what it's going to be. And so, um, U.S. culture. Well, and, and then you also have. You can even have, and, and this is what I think is really lazy about it. Is I talked about this earlier, but I, since we were on the video, I'll, I'll show it again. Uh, is that in the Veil Guard, you can actually show. Um, you can have an, in, an indicator here where you can have top surgery scars in order to emulate what your scars would look like if you had trans surgery. I think this Fucking is one of the out. most lazy... Dude, what as an Englishman not understanding language, LOL. I'm going to be honest. I have to be real with you guys. I'm so happy I'm not a snowflake like these people. To be so offended by like... A uh, 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 top surgery scar option that's set to off by default, and then try and spin it as like they're truly trying. They're gonna get woke points and blah blah blah. It's like, bro, I don't know how to tell you this, but like, gay people love Dragon Age Origins. They're just making stuff for the people who play the games and like the games. The gays really love dragon age origins i'm sorry it's the same reason you go and play mmos other than probably wow and they have giant titties for all the characters they know their player base they're giving their player base what they want Dra dragon age one had the ability for same-sex romance not every character th not all the characters are player sexual or whatever but it's been there since day one Okay? I'm telling you, the, the queer people love that game. They're just, they know what their player base wants. That's it. What about women who've had the removed due to breast cancer, want that replicated in their character? Or like even, forget about that. What about like even men, cis men, who have had um, uh, uh, gender confirming surgery uh, um, because sometimes it happens that you just grow more breast tissue as a cis man for no reason you're xy male man presenting and you just have more breast tissue and you go to the doctor and the doctor's like there's nothing wrong with you but if it's causing you a lot of gender dysphoria if it's causing you a lot of stress and you're wearing these baggy clothes and you're constantly thinking about it i mean we can uh do a very simple operation obviously you know you sign off on it your parents sign off on it um pretty safe if you want that and lots of cis men get that surgery and lots of cis men appreciate it and they're like you know what yeah i was kind of getting some moves and it was causing me great stress being a middle schooler or a high schooler or whatever and then i got it and then i felt amazing it was amazing <laughs> Like, why? I don't, I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't, I don't, it's so bizarre to me to be like so certain that everything that's happening in video games that you don't like or disagree with obviously has to be for the points of wokeism 
and to sell more copies because they aren't marketing to you and they should be marketing to you. The amount of like entitlement you have to have that a game can't have options that don't ap that don't appeal to you otherwise it's just for PR is crazy. It's like it's crazy. It's it gives the type of person that like the second they play any video game and they lose a 1v1 they're like that person's cheating. They're obviously using aimbot. And you're like, bro, I literally watched the kill count. And you missed every shot. You reloaded and still missed every shot. And then they killed you. It's not aimbot. It's not. That was not wall hack. That was not. You just are bad, dude. You're just bad. <laughs> You're just bad, man. I'm sorry. It's the same sort of thing. It's like, this isn't marketed to me. It must be for PR points. It's like, what? <laughs> Why do we have an option to be a ginger when it's so rare? Woke video game. Unbelievable. And devoid of any degree of creativity examples of why you should expect this story in the game to be soft modern flat and garbage and completely uncreative what does he mean when he says soft modern <laughs> Skill issue, dizzy so matters. we live in a what does that mean <laughs> thank you the thousand video stories world of magic demons dragons and shapeshift remove breast tissue and the boob squirted blood all over the resident in me lol oh my god <laughs> what the fuck you were 22 months just jordan ding however you still need to undergo a you know surgery in order to change your gender what a ridiculous thing to say it doesn't even make sense so when i see something like that and then i see the character's skin tone be referred to as melanin i it's just what the name of <laughs> that's just melanin is just the LOL. thing that makes your skin darker or lighter that doesn't i don't even understand being mad at melanin that one has to be bait that one's got to be bait that's too stupid to think that's too genuinely stupid to think to get mad about the melanin the comment that it says melanin instead of skin color or something oh my god i see an image of na language or I can't tell if he was trying to say NA language, like North American language, or if he was trying to say NA, but one of the two, is being reprogrammed on purpose. Let me guess. I've heard this before. Sub so I can have media literacy. It's because of the Jews, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So there's this psych ward with your name on it, okay? Don't worry, they have a really nice, comfy, cozy room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A game that is made to reinforce a real world view and be a hyper reality rather than a fantasy world. I find it to be very weird. What? And I don't think that you should expect to see a story that's they got the grippy socks <laughs> by a studio like that uh, have any sort of depth to it, have any degree of edge, any sort of internal truth. I think that you can expect to see an. We're getting all this from like a two minute uh, review, by the way. And extremely flat and extremely dull and a very soft modern story that takes no risks and- You haven't played the game! <laughs> only reinforces what the artists and the writers that are making it want you to believe about the real world. Oh my God. That's the way I, I feel, it feels condescending. It is. And I so that that's it. my opinion. <laughs> Greg, no, sorry, not Gregory. Georgie, thank you so much for the 13 months. Dragon Age has one of the edgiest stories. No, it's woke, you liar. And I understand that people might not think this, but I want everybody to clip what I'm saying here, and let's take it to the bank whenever the game comes out, and we'll see if I'm right or not. You're criticized as Stone Asman. Uh, these woke game devs are lost in their own bubble. You should be a thousand percent for it. Yeah, for sure. They're excited because it aligns with their values. Why would any player, including trans, want that in a game you can magically directly choose to be the other sex and gender? Who wants to be ugly in an idealized fantasy? Yeah, I don't think that anybody, I, this is like, I, I can't speak for any trans people, but like I can speak for a lot of people that I know that have scars that, oh, I don't think that hardly anybody, unless you, know, you want to look like a badass or something, right? Um, anybody wants to have their scars. What? <laughs> I 
confidently saying, I don't understand why anyone would do anything different from how I would do things is a strategy. I mean, it's a strategy, I guess. Personally, I don't assume to understand what other people enjoy in character creators, but I guess, um, you know, some people do, you know, to each their own or whatever. <laughs> I love my scars. What happened to scars are cool. I mean, he briefly said that, but I don't think he was talking about medical scars. Perfect example, Kratos has, like, goddamn scars on his face. Yeah, but that's different because it's a man and he has the scars because he was in fights and that's badass. Okay? All right. All right. People can actually learn to accept and love their differences. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys love about your scars, lol? I'm trying to think if I have any scars. I don't. I mean, sometimes my cats scratch me. <laughs> but I don't think I have any. But speaking on behalf of people that have told me why they like their scars, um, they describe them as like a reminder of where life has taken them. Um, it's the same reason that people get tattoos or people like their tattoos. It's a reminder of something that has impacted their life in some major way like a milestone of sorts yeah and that you can have like your body is more than just this thing that moves around and does what you need it to it's also like a canvas for all of your life experiences um so yeah i mean i think that's cool yeah that's sick <laughs> Carolus, thank you so much for the 13 months. Gracious Blake, thank you for the 14 months. The problem is that, like, I don't do enough things to <laughs> get scars. Like, I I didn't do sports, so I never broke anything or scratched anything. <laughs> I was just a nerd, and I stayed at home and played video games, which doesn't give you any scars. The closest I've gotten to scars is, like, <laughs> uh, sometimes this area of my hand gets a little too callous if I play too many shooters for too long. Because it's like rubbing on the mouse pad. And that's it. That's the closest I get. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gamer injury. Gamer injuries. Love to see it. Um, but other people seem to view it very differently. I mean, I think it's cool. I think the idea that your body is a canvas is pretty cool. And that it can, like, tell a story. I think that's sick. Especially if it's something that brings you joy and happiness to look at, which I know like a lot of people who get tattoos for significant things in their life, um, every time they see that tattoo, it's a constant reminder of like this positive thing so they never forget. I mean, that's kind of what I have in like this room. Um, Rhetoric, thank you for the 15 months. I Sometimes I get a little sad, but then I remember that life is pretty good. And it's easy to do that when you have physical reminders of that of the fact that life is pretty good. So I have in uh, in my in the background of my stream, I have like a bunch of stuff that reminds me of all the fun, cool things I've gotten to do. Like um, I have the Fansly boxing gloves from Creator Clash Two, and you know if I'm feeling a little sad, I'm like, you know what, I got to go to Creator Clash Two, and that was so much fun, and I met so many cool people, and I had such an amazing time. Or like I have like the box of uh, Pokemane's cookies. That she hand sent to me, obviously. It couldn't have been anyone else that sent it to me. That she sent to me. And I'm like, every time I'm sad, I'm like, you know what? How many people can say that Pokimane sent them cookies? That you replied to a tweet being like, I'm excited to engage in your promo. And that she sent you a box of cookies. How many people can say that? I should be happy that I personally got. Are they unopened? No, I ate all of them. They were really good, actually. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> mm, cookies. <laughs> it's the same thing. I, I feel like it's the same thing with like scars, right? Or like tattoos. It's especially for a lot of trans people who experienced really bad um, uh, gender dys dysphoria. Um, and I've spoken to trans men who wore binders for a very long time because it would cause them so much stress that when they talk about... Um, getting top surgery and they talk about how they feel about it afterwards they see the scars and they experience a great sense of like euphoria and joy because it's this reminder that they finally got 
to do something that they've wanted to do their whole life. And like, yeah, whatever, people don't, maybe people visually don't like scars or whatever, right? But it's important to those people. So it makes them happy to see it. It's like a reminder of like, I got to do this. I got to, I don't have to wear binders anymore. Like that arc of my life is over, which is cool. I think that's, I, I don't know. I think that's cool. So anyways, anyways, continuing. So I, I think that like, yeah, like if you, if you could just not have that, I'm pretty sure almost everybody that's had surgery would just turn it off. Yeah, I am my scars. <laughs> yeah, true. Except for Illidan. Yeah, e e everybody except for Illidan. But Illidan's not real, though. You've got to keep in mind. And also, the ass slider was painfully um, conservative. I won't it was lie. was painfully conservative. Crazy. As someone with a dumper, I feel very not um, represented. Okay? <laughs> I feel underrepresented right now. I do. I am kindly petitioning. Okay. For anyone who missed it, this was, uh, I was very proud of myself. I spent a lot of time shopping, going to thrift stores, uh, uh, finding some sick deals to plan some really cool outfits for TwitchCon. And I, I think I came up with a couple good ones. As, as someone who has struggled many times to find high-waisted things or find jeans that don't flatten my ass, okay, I am not being represented I am not being represented by this ass slider, okay? <laughs> I'm not being represented. And I am kindly asking the developers to put in something for me, <laughs> okay? Please. Please. I'm begging. I'm begging kindly. It's going to be the first mod to come out, don't worry. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Easy conservative. That's the ass. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking... Is this... This is a joke. Come on, bro. Like, what is this? This is crazy. Come on. That's a 100? No, it's not. Yeah. That, I can go on... The, the, look. Where do we have? What, <laughs> Stop. Don't do it. Don't. What, where's the, where's the, the ASMR section? Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, just like you just search. Like this isn't an unrealistic. <laughs> husband, don't do it. <laughs> female expectation. There's plenty of girls that look like that. Yeah, if you want, I can give you a short list of a hundred of them, or a thousand if you want. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. I mean, my principle has always been uh, when it comes to games where you can choose your gender or you can choose like the two body types or whatever. So long as the sliders are the same. I don't care. This is a, my my stance has always been. Listen, if you're gonna put sexy bikinis that are level 100 and can shield from all types of damage, even though they only cover like one section of your nipple, and like barely cover any any groin, just also do that for the male characters. My my biggest pet peeve in video games. Biggest pet peeve. When they have the sexy female outfits and you put it on the men and it's like a t-shirt. I'm like, I'm wa <laughs> hello, robbed, excuse me. <laughs> it doesn't look like that on the femoid. Why does it look like that on the moid? This is false advertising. This is false advertising. Stop it. Okay? Stop. Just like covering the tip of your dick? Exactly, correct. So that's my opinion here, okay? Which is, listen, okay? If you put, if you increase the ass slider, which I am requesting you do for Veilguard, just make sure you also can increase the ass slider for the men. I want, I, there are, st <laughs> Donald Trump deserves representation too. Okay? <laughs> okay? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's it. The chest is already at max? Yeah, I guess so. That's nuts, man. Find cosplay channels. Bro, go to your Mac Uncle McDonald's. You'll see massive asses. <laughs> yeah, I think so, right? And uh, I hate that a lot of people will defend it, uh, that bigger ass is not real. I have plenty of female friends that have way too big asses. Well, I think that really... Um, 
I, I, I think that it's very common and it's no, like... No, it, that's not what's happening here. It's not that the, the game developers think that big asses aren't real. Like, what? <laughs> like that's not... No, no, no. The, the reality is that the game developers, which I feel like this is so obvious, but maybe it's not. The game developers are trying to make maybe a more serious game and they don't want like, um, <laughs> you know, like Bloodborne character creator. Or like uh, uh, Elden Ring character creator, <laughs> where you can slide the chin back into the character's throat. Like <laughs> they want the characters to look reasonable and human, so they're just giving them like one general build, and you can change a couple things because they want it to fit in the environment. I think if you make a game where you can customize the character <laughs> in a cutscene, I want it to pan back. To you and your your like uh, 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 companions, and it's very obvious which one is your character. <laughs> okay, I think that that's funny as shit. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want personally. Uh, but this is like a stylistic Almost decision, right? My pants. Cult of Eyes, thank you so much for the 18 months. Like one of the, it, it's like a, you know how you have like toxic masculinity. I think that there's toxic femininity as well where women like to body shame other women based off of their proportions because their proportions are seen as uh... also i'm just gonna say it as like a woman this is not real like this is not real this is not real in the slight slightest i maybe i've just never run into these women or maybe they're just like very rare but like i've never met the type of female that shames the women around her for looking bigger ass or something like i don't i've never i've never seen this i've never seen this toxic femininity is real with the saying in it i mean it depends how we're defining toxic femininity uh you know like to like the the type of like internalized misogyny that happens is not um i'm jealous because your ass is bigger than mine it's uh the type of of conversations relating to how every additional requirement for women makeup or botox or filler or hair care or skin care or whatever is one additional thing that if you are not performing as a female you are now uglier than the uh, general populace which is an interesting conversation there's a lot of feminist literature on it and there's conversations worth having there but it's not, it's not this. This is like happening in people's like dreams. This isn't, right? Happens in middle school in some places. Yeah, yeah. Too over endowed. I think it's very common. And, and like, I, I see this happen with a lot of girls is that they're like, oh, well, and, and it happens with skinny girls too. Uh, it's like, oh, where's her organs? Like, what do you mean, where's her organs? They're working, unlike yours that have to work overtime. Has been mold. You should not be talking about other people's organs having to work overtime, okay? God will spite you for that shit, okay? <laughs> you, you. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. Your environment is not exactly hospitable to uh, mankind. I would be concerned, okay? And also, in the instances with uh, uh, where are her organs, it's usually about like, the one exception to this rule, by the way, is um, Miss Elastic. Miss, Miss, Mrs. Incredible. Because she literally can stretch her body to anything. So that's different, obviously. But there are lots of instances where there's no, like, the it's, a, it's a, like a 20-inch waist. You cannot have a 20-inch waist as a woman without having done, uh, um, like, corsets or, like, waist training. There is even like the thinnest women on the planet don't have 20 inch waists naturally. That doesn't happen. You have like ribs and the ribs get in the way of being able to do that. Unless you've removed some ribs and do a lot of waist training, you're not going to, you, you can't, even the thinnest people you know are not, are not that. And when people say, where are organs? It's usually criticizing artists that can't draw women for shit. <laughs> And they make the waists like this. <laughs> and you're like, this just 
looks stupid, dude. <laughs> this just looks really dumb, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Vlad Tepes, thank you so much for the seven months. Thanks. Thank you. Like, it's nuts. It's too seductive. Yeah, exactly. How big is 100% for the bulge, though? And that's the thing, right? Like, how big can you make their dick? That's what <laughs> that's I want to know. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, women are mean as hell to each other. Yeah, they are. They're, like... I don't... I, I just have not experienced this. The being mean to each other because of how you look. Anything mean that you can say to a girl is nothing like the things that a girl can say to another girl. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it's... The thing is, girl bullying isn't about looks. The thing is, bullying someone on their looks is so superficial. Every single woman has dealt with it with, like, at least one dude in her life that was like, you know what, you're ugly too. <laughs> anyways, you're an ugly whore anyways. I don't want to fuck you anyways. It's, it's, it's very, it's a very boring insult. I'm going to be honest. It's probably hurt maybe one person in the entire history of ever. And that's it. Um... Girl bullying is like it gets to your core because these women are your friends. And so they know all your weaknesses and the things that actually make you conscious, self-conscious. And then they go for that shit. How you physically look, everybody can fucking see that. True psychological warfare is the shit that you can't see. Like, oh my God, you're so annoying. Whenever you talk, you keep stuttering. It's like, uh, cringe. <laughs> Am I right, guys? And then you're like, I'm going to... Explode. I'm going to explode. I'm going to explode and uh, I'm going to stop existing forever. Forever. <laughs> I hated that. Oh, ooh, I hated that. It, like, I've seen some of these, like, leaked group chats. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. Yeah, it, that that's brutal, man. Yeah, why well, can't I dislike the video? I mean, I don't think you should dislike the video. I, f I feel like the video was good, right? It's not like there was anything bad about the video. Uh, but I'm just saying that I, I don't really think this character creator... And, and I think that the decisions <laughs> that they made with the character creator are a mining canary <laughs> for what you should be able... To, and, and the hip width, that's 60%. There's no way it is. There's no, This is outrageous. He plays a left-handed person. 10% of people are playing left-handed. I don't know. That's actually a good question. Yeah, I have no idea. Game mods incoming. Well, it is a PC game, so we'll see what happens. That's insane. Other slap in the face of women. Well, I think that a lot of times it's just, uh, you know, well, let me actually read some comments first. <laughs> uh, Inquisitor, the glute slider didn't you. add a thing. Yeah, exactly, bro. Fucking exactly. God damn. The fact they have Inquisitor back. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty positive about this. Just add some texture to their foreheads. Why is it so damn smooth? It looks ridiculous. Yeah, it does. Uh, it really does look ridiculous. What the fuck is that canary at the five-minute mark? It looks like Quagmire with horns. Yeah, it fucking does. But anyway, um, yeah, I think you should expect like this game to be a masterclass in soft modern. Yeah, there's the video right there. Give it a like. I mean, they, they do their best, right? The sliders are not made for men and women, just to be clear. Um, well, then you're making a mistake because there's men and women out there. And uh, if you don't make a version of the character that looks like one of them, people will have a harder time identifying with the characters. Uh Whatever happened to, like, women should just play the video games and grow the fuck up? And who cares if the game is only, like, if video games are only cis white male uh, uh, leads? play the game or, or shut up i thought that was like the like the consistent narrative that we were going with for the longest time and now it's like if i can't play exactly who i am and i have to see other things or people i'm gonna lose it dude <laughs> i'm gonna be really mad uh it's that simple i find it to be very odd that we've removed male and female something that 99 percent of people identify as in order to add body type one and two in a way that nobody identifies as. Ha <laughs> 
I don't even know, like, I don't even know what to, I don't think that there were any gamers that have given a fucking single shit about body type one or two. Ever. It's been around for a pretty long time. Even older games have that. I'm body type three and I'm very upset. <laughs> I, I'm i so, I just don't understand, I guess, like. Aren't, aren't you tired that it's always a little bit of drama surrounding any type of piece of media or video game nowadays? It's always these Gamergate dudes uh, creating it like they're so annoying. I just don't get why it matters at all. I just don't, I just genuinely, I don't understand it. I don't understand how you can be upset and think that the game has lost significant quality because it doesn't say male or female anymore. It says body type one or two. I just don't, I just don't, I'm just, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> Nobody was complaining when Saints Row, Saint, Saints Row 2 came out. Everybody thought it was sick. Yeah. How is it inclusive to remove language that 99% of people use? Well, I think that there's a disparity, though. I think that's a, I, I, I think that there's a little bit of a problem. So, yeah, because they say so. Yeah, it's just, it's outrageous. And I think that more people should be outspoken about stuff like this. It's, it's ridiculous. How is it inclusive to use other words that people understand and doesn't and isn't negatively impacting anyone? <laughs> All of the people who would have otherwise picked male or female without a problem will pick body type one or two without a problem. All it does is become more inclusive for people who don't want to pick male or female. That's it. I have never, ever, ever played a game that didn't say male or female and instead said like um, body type one or two and been like, I just don't understand. I just don't, it just doesn't feel very inclusive. This just doesn't feel very inclusive. It's like, what? Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Appeasing the LGBT? No, uh, guys, can you can you please like you don't like? There are plenty of guys and girls that are gay that don't have anything to fucking do with this. There are tons of people that are gay that also think this stuff is stupid. This is a subset of people that are often not even part of like this underrepresented group that are trying to put themselves out there and virtue signal like they care about them. It's just like what I said with the Assassin's Creed team for uh, Shadows. It's a bunch of white people that are trying to add a black person in Japan because of diversity. And then they get all the details wrong because they don't have any respect for the culture. It's so annoying. The woke assholes. Yeah, they're like the, the, the Karens of the internet. It's still the LGBT agenda. No, this is it is a small subset. Most people that uh, are LGBT agenda are like don't prosecute us, let us be able to get married, and let us live our lives in an equal way. That's what most normal people that are part of LGBT think. That is like the 80 to 90% of them. Like, yeah, I, I, this is not, like, again, I think the majority of this is done by people that are trying to do it in the name of other people. That was 20 years ago. Yeah. I just got here, it's happening. Hell no, they want more. The straights are spreading the gay agenda, guys. I don't know if you know this, okay? I don't know if you know this. But they're doing it. It's true. <laughs> More rights. I mean, I think they should have any right that a normal person should have, right? Right to get married, anything else, of course. Yeah, it's not even a question. They just want to be treated normal and these developers stereotype them? Yeah, because they don't know any... The question I always like to ask these people is, removing this stuff, it, let's say we did everything you wanted that made you so mad about it. Let's remove the uh, the pronouns. Let's remove the body type 1, body type 2. Let's uh, let's remove move everything that you don't like. We'll just make male, female. We'll remove the, the, the scars and everything. How does this help you? How did this improve your life?
<laughs> Genuinely, how? I don't feel like it's changing anyone's life. <laughs> any, like, uh, any gay or trans people. So they design things, or black people, right, with Assassin's Creed. So, like, what do you do when you don't know any black people in real life? Well, whenever you have a samurai fight, you put on hip-hop music. Because you don't know, you, you, like... What the fuck? It's crazy because, like, even, like, recently, uh, you know, there's, like, that one song. Like, I listen to the radio a lot. Like, there's, like, this, like, one song that's, like, a country song. It's actually really good. Um, and it's, like, a black guy that's singing a country song. And it's, like, super, super popular. And, uh, so it's just, like, um, the bar song. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Shib is it Shibuzi? Yeah, yeah. He's great, man. I think he's great. Straight up. Yeah, Old Town Road. Yeah, I guess there's another one, too. Yeah, with Little Nas. Yeah, but it was, it was the new one. Yeah, I think it's a great fucking song. And, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I just wish that you'd, uh, I, I wish people were able to treat each other like people rather than, uh, you know, representations of a group. This is, by the way, guys, this is because they put, uh, the option to have top surgery scars. <laughs> his argument against top surgery scars was that magic exists in the universe but how do you think he would react if your character could go to a gender wizard more importantly if there's magic in the world then why do any other scars exist to point at just the top surgery scars and be like um erm um, sweaty magic exists what about face scars that are in every single game <laughs> it's so stupid it's so silly. I just don't get it. I just don't understand. Oh my god. It's also just like, in my opinion, gamers used to be people. Well, wait, wait, sorry. Let me let me clarify that. <laughs> Let's not be too crazy here. Gamers used to care about games being fun. And allowing players to do whatever the fuck they want. Giving players the most As many options as possible. And then you let players decide what they want and what they don't want. This is why even though D&D has like a lot of homework that you have to do before you can get into it. And D&D has like a lot of planning and prepping and finding a group. There's a lot of things that can make D&D like fall off. But because you have so much customization because it can be anything you want. People love it and it's still around. And it's the same thing with this. People want more freedom. They want more options. You want as many options as possible when you're playing a game. And then you can decide which rules you want to break, which rules you don't want to break. But nobody likes invisible walls. No one likes being like, oh man, I wish I had this option for this scar, but it's not here, so whatever. It's just, it's so silly. It's silly to get mad that there are more options now in video games. And without having even played the game, you're like, oh man. This has to be bad because they made it woke. Source? I don't know. I don't know. It's just very silly. That wormy cat. She's chilling with me. She's worming. She's so melty. Anyways. Watching your last few streams. <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. The gender wizard.